Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Coding. We are solving the problem maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length. We are given a string S and an integer K. We have to return the maximum number of the vowel letters in any substring S with length K. We know that the vowels are A, E, I, O and U. So let us look at the first example. In this case, the answer is 3 and we see that the triple I, this one is the answer. The next example, the answer is 2. So a, E, or E, I, or any such sequence is true in this case. In the example lead code, we have double E. The answer is 2. In this case, we do not have any answer. And in this case, the answer is 1. The answer here is A. So let us try to solve this problem. Let us say that this is the given example. And in this case, we will try to solve this problem using sliding window approach. Those who are not comfortable with the approach, I will provide the link to other video solutions and they can refer to that before approaching this problem. So I'm directly heading towards solving this one. Let us say this is the window. This is our initial window. And in this case, the number of all is one. Now we will move the window. So when we move the window, the window will be from B to I. And the element which got subtracted is from the window is uh, A and the element which got added is I. So A is kicked out from the window. So the answer will be decremented minus one and I is inserted into the window. So answer will be incremented as I is again a wall. So the answer will remain one. Next time our window is from C to this I. The element which got kicked out is B. So answer will not be subtracted because B is not a vowel. Then I is added. Answer will be incremented because I is again a vowel. So answer will be 2. Then the third one. From this I to this I. The element which got kicked out is C. So answer will not be subtracted as C is not a vowel. It is a consonant and I is added. So the answer will be incremented. It will be 3. When we go to the next window, the element kicked out is uh, I. So the answer will be subtracted and the element which got inserted is D. So one will not be added to the answer because this is not a vowel again. This way we are going to approach this problem and we will find that the maximum answer that we get is 3. So we will return 3. Let us see the code for this problem. So this is the set which contains all the vowels. We are going to search in this set. We are keeping a start pointer and an end pointer and the length of the window. Initially the window will be of zero size and in this case we are not going to kick out the elements. We are just going to insert them. And answer will be our global answer and C will keep us the current maximum answer. So if L is equals to K that means the size of the window is as required. In this case we are going to kick out the first element, the start element. So if the start element is a wall we are going to uh, subtract this. If the end element which we are inserting is a vowel we are going to increment to the answer if the size of the window is not k it is uh, smaller than k in this case we are just going to increment the last element and insert it so just see if the last element the end element which we are going to insert is a vowel in that case we have to increment the answer we are not going to kick out any element because the size of the window is small we will then maximize the answer answer will be maximum of uh, the previous answer and c and then return our answer this approach will work in big o of n so if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I will provide the link to other such problems which you can solve using this approach. Thank you.